Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we're doing a second installment or a second episode of what's in my bag. And I'm very excited that all of you were just as excited to bring some of these videos back as I am. I love being nosy and knowing what's in other people's bags. It gives you good ideas. I love being prepared. I just love getting that view. And today is going to be slightly different, but I feel as though I needed to share that that original what's in my bag video was me being very organized because it was a new bag. We are now four months in and I wanna give you an update not only on the bag, but also I am not as organized as I seem. And then we're also going to cover how I'm going to pack bags for an upcoming week long trip that has hiking involved, sightseeing involved and nice dinners. And I'll show you the bags that I plan on take and we'll pack those together. So I hope you'll stick around and hang out for that. But let's dive in to the original bag itself. Okay, so the original bag, I won't spend too much time on. It is the not bag from Kate Spade. I'll link the original What's in My Bag playlist down below, but I have emptied this out and we will get into why. However, I just wanted to say, I still really love this bag. It's holding up very well. You have the three compartments. You can see it's empty. The only thing that is on this that I didn't cover in the last video, which I'll cover now is a bag holder. So this opens up and holds your bag for you. This one is sturdier than a lot of those ones that I see that fold up. And while I probably should have gotten silver, I guess the hardware is, is the hardware silver? It's like a light gold. This is much more like brassy of a gold, but I really love that and I'll recommend it. I got mine on Amazon. It's very strong. It also has silicone grippies on it that I really love and actually, I'm tempted to pack this as like a carabiner for my hiking bag. So I'm gonna leave it out actually, but I will link the Amazon one down below. I don't know if I gave you a good shot. There's silicone pads on either side. So it holds onto surfaces really nice, but I love this one. However, the real reason we're here today, one is because I need to clean all of my bags out and pack them, but I have been, <laughs> emptying my bag into this box to show you why I am not responsible enough to own a very large handbag like the knot bag. I love it because it is large, but it does not stay organized because it becomes such a catch-all. And we're gonna go through these today, all of the things in this box, but we're going to be sorting them because they don't all belong in one bag. So, I just showed you the handbag. That's my everyday handbag that I've been using for the last four months. I really love it. However, on this trip, because we're gonna be doing sightseeing, hiking, all those things, I don't need a nice big bag like that. What I'm going to be taking instead is my Athleta Excursion belt bag, which I really love and have not shown on the channel before. But this, I wanna say this is in the, sh I don't, what shade is this? I wanna say Glacier, but that's not right. I'll include a link down below. They do still have this bag. I think they still have this color, but I love it. Again, hardware is really nice. It is beautifully nylon. It is mesh on the back, so you get some breathing room. There's a nice hidden pocket here. Then the main compartment also has a nice mesh pocket here and a keychain with a mini carabiner on it, which I really appreciate. So. The reason I'm taking this is, yes, it can be dressed kind of nice casually, but this is excellent for smaller hikes where you're not gonna be gone for very long and it's not heavy endurance needing. So you can just throw a few things in here. Call it a day, I love this bag. So we're gonna pack that. I'm not gonna pack anything in it. I'm just going to pack that as an option on my trip. I should have made that clear. And then for a nicer option, I'm gonna use the Athleta bag in rustic beige that I showed in that original video. It's still my go-to when I want something a little bit nicer looking. It doesn't have all of like the cargo and the carabiner spots on it. It's just a really smooth belt bag. It also has a nice handle if you want to take it, take the strap off and use it as a nice little clutch. And it just has one main compartment with a zippered pouch in the back 
side. So this is going to be my main purse for this trip. The other belt bag is going to be used as a hiking option and that is gonna go in my suitcase. So today we're really just packing this bag and then because not all of my purse essentials will fit into that small rustic beige bag, I am going to be taking a canvas tote in the car because it is a road trip. So I need to have some things that aren't gonna fit in that small bag ready to go for the road trip in the front seat. And that's what we're gonna do today. So let's dive in. The first up is the AirPods case that I had in my bag for the first four months. I really haven't used this and we'll talk about why next. So I like it, but I don't use it. So this is actually going in zero purses. What is going in my canvas bag, so not my belt bag, is my actual AirPods. So I tend to just keep them in a silicone case. This is a Hubba Bubba tape case, which I really love. It also has a little keychain option with a carabiner there. I how cute is that? How cute is that? And even in your bag, like if someone were trying to steal stuff from your bag, at first glance, I feel like you would be like, oh, hubba bubba. Maybe not. Maybe I'm selling it too much to myself because there is like the large opening. But how cute. I love it. So nostalgic. That is going in my canvas bag. Then another little extra that I want to talk about is the lion latch. So I attach this a lot of times to my purse holder ring that goes around my strap so that I don't lose it. You could put this on your keychain as well, but I don't always have my keys. This was on Shark Tank and I saw it on TikTok. And what is amazing about it is you take that off and then you can open this up and you can put your jewelry, rings, studs, obviously to a certain size, necklaces, and it locks. So once you put the cap on, you lock it by putting the key ring back on and it's so genius. This doesn't come loose, nothing's gonna fall out. I love this, it was $11. Highly, highly recommend it. I went with gray, but there's so many cute color options. This is such a great idea because how many times are you just throwing rings or earrings in your bag? Like the amount that I took out before this video was insane. So I really love this and I am going to be packing that. And for right now, I am gonna put it on this because we'll put this on the strap for my canvas bag so that this doesn't get lost in the bottom. I love it. All right, then I have a travel spray of the Dead Cool Taunt fragrance. This is one of my favorite perfumes. It's a nice little size. This is what I will be taking with me. So I'm actually gonna throw that in my makeup bag. Then, <laughs> if you watched the original What's In My Bag, I do want to give an update on my wallet system. So I keep three wallets. If you're interested in why I do that, go check out my original what's in my bag video. I But for right now, all I want to say is I still absolutely love this system. I have not lost any cards in four months and that's a feat for me. So my smallest card holder that has my most used credit cards and my ID is going to go in my belt bag and then the other two wallets because I need some of them with like medical cards you never know when you're going to need some of that stuff I'm going to put these in my canvas bag along the wallets you know that I also use a phone portfolio case that I can put two cards in for when I want to go bare bones so if my belt bag is too much to handle I'll just take this with my phone and my two most used cards which is my ID and my credit card my phone is currently in the case that goes into this, so it just magnetizes into this slot here. So I will be taking this. I've been using the absolute heck out of this. This one I'm actually going to put in my canvas bag along with the case because I will be using my mini card wallet in my belt bag, but because I have to switch the case, this one is not magnetic and it has my pop socket on it. So I'm going to leave this out and re-switch the cases. But just know that my two bigger wallets and my phone case, my phone folio case is going in my canvas bag. All right. Then I had three sunglasses make their way into my bag. One are a pair of my husband's kind of kick around glasses that he doesn't really mind what happens. I'm going to give those back to him. So that's not going in my purse. <laughs> However, I have my 
Desi Fall Back sunglasses, similar to the first What's in My Bag video. These are the best sunglasses ever, and I have them, one in the shade black, the other in the tortoise, the brown tortoise shade. These are the best sunnies ever. I go over them a little bit more in detail. They are, I think, 75, somewhere around there. I think I overstated in the last video, but cute little gold details on the side of the frame and these little buttons here. I love these so much, but for this trip, I only need to take one. So I'm going to take the black pair and that's gonna go in my canvas bag as well. So I have them in the car, but I also love the dust cloth that she gives with them because they're lens cleaning cloths as well. So it's super nice. The brown, I'm actually going to put back into my original Kate Spade bag just so when I get back, I know that I have a pair in there. Next, I will show you my keys. This does not include my car key, so this is house key, etc. I do love these keychains because they can go on your wrist. I really loved this when I lived in an apartment building because I had to go up three steps, so I tried to get the groceries in on one go, and this really helped that because they could just hang around my arm. And I also have this self-defense weapon, which I really love and would recommend. It's a pressure point self-defense weapon that you can hold a multitude of ways, but you can kind of use this on certain pressure points to get release. It's just, when I lived in the city, it was nice to have. I just don't use it as much anymore. And then during COVID, I had a keyless touch key. So ATM checkout, you could use this. And then also this is used as a door handle. I'll link these below. I did make little kits for my mom and my sister at Christmas time. So it is a cute gift idea. I just don't use these keys a lot. So I'm actually going to leave them out to take them off and put on a new keychain, but I don't need them on this trip because my husband is the key man this time. So I'm gonna leave them out completely. Or actually, I'll throw them in the Kate Spade bag. All right, then as an SPF queen, I've collected SPF in my bag. So I have Super Goof Play SPF 30 Mineral Lotion with green algae, love it, as body and face sunscreen, really. And then I have the Glow Stick SPF 50 from Super Goop. I love this as a quick application on any visible parts of the body and the Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF. I love this for the face. So all of these are going to go in my canvas bag. And when we get to that point, I'll show you how I'm gonna organize all this stuff so I know what's in there and when to grab it. But I love all of those. Then snacks, I always keep these in my bag. The barbells, they're so good. I have a salty peanut, which is very good. My favorite is the cashew. I picked up this new one to try and it's creamy crisp. These taste like candy bars. They taste like candy bars. There's 18 grams of carb, three grams of fiber, one grams of one gram of sugar, five grams of sugar alcohol, and 20 grams of protein. I really love it. They hold me over and they're delicious. They taste like candy. So I keep these and I'm going to keep them in my canvas bag. All right, then it wouldn't be my bag if I didn't have a plethora of what my husband likes to call weird flavored gum. And over the past four months, I have gone through plenty, but I have two of the limited edition extra pink lemonade. Delicious. I will be keeping the opened one in my belt bag and the unopened one in my canvas bag. Then I also have watermelon slushy from Icebreakers, delicious. Strawberry lemonade, which was also delicious. And Mentos vitamins, vitamin B6, C, and B12. But I got these because they're orange flavored. They're nice, probably my least favorite of all of them. So I'm actually going to take the extra and this is probably a gum sin. But these are both pretty much halfway empty. Yeah, there's like five of the watermelon left, so I'm just going to dump that in there. Oh, just smelling it, it's so good. And I'm gonna take this plus my extra. Clearly I love lemonade, because we're taking pink lemonade and strawberry lemonade. What are you gonna do? All right. Next, I have my pills. I'm going to keep these in my canvas bag. I do take those in. Actually, I'm gonna put this in my belt bag as well because 
it has my prescriptions. I'll show you again. Same as last time. It has my prescriptions in these small buckets, a sleeping aid in this just because I don't want to take the whole bottle with me on a trip. And then I have daytime and nighttime excedrin here. My husband and I both suffer migraines, so I keep that on me at all times. Also, I have to take my prescriptions every day or they're not as effective, so I need to remember them. So I keep that there. Then I have my Blink Dry Contacts drops. I keep those in my belt bag. I have bad allergies. Sometimes you just need to rinse your eyes. I have the Fresh Peaches Bum Gel. You put this on toilet paper and it transforms it into a wet wipe. Love it. I have gone through, I think, half of one of these so far and you can buy refills for this. So cute, it has a little peach on there. Let me see if I can get it to focus this time. Hopefully you can see that. So cute. Yes, packing this, but it's gonna go in my canvas bag. Then I have Benadryl, love it. It's actually gonna go in the canvas bag because I can still access it in the car. It's not like mandatory. Then I have some gift cards. These are gonna stay here. I need to not shop while I'm on this trip. There's really no reason that I would need to use those. Then I have two pins. I'm actually gonna keep one in my belt bag because I like to have a pin on hand. And then the second one I'll put in my canvas bag. All right, then we had two hand creams accumulate. Last time it was just the hand screen. I do love this, it has SPF. Wonderful to throw in your bag, especially if you get nails like I do. I'm going to keep this in the original Kate Spade bag because I don't need it on this trip, but I am going to take the Beekman 1802 Pure Ceramide Goat Milk Hand Cream. My husband gets dry hands, I get dry hands. We're gonna be using a lot of hand sanitizer on the trail, so I will pack this and keep it in my canvas bag, but we're gonna be pulling this out at the house a lot. I can feel it now. All right, then speaking of hand sanitizer, I have my we talked about this brand. It's a very interesting brand. I got this as a gift, the Olika Life. When I was trying to link these, I wasn't clear if they're still making this or not. Um, I'll put a note down below, but I really love this one. And then my favorite of all time is the Boogie Wipes. They're just really compact, unscented. And this one is going in my belt bag. This one and this one are actually gonna go in my suitcase because we'll use these on the trail. All right, then I accumulated a lot of lippies. This isn't even all of them. If I reached back for one, obviously I took it out of my bag, but I have vegan lip liner in nude. This is still one of my favorite lip liners, but if you can't tell, I picked different lip liners here as I swatched to take on the trip with me. And if you're interested, I will link down below if the video is already up of what makeup I packed and how I pack makeup, but I won't be taking that. I also won't be taking the Vacation Ink Lip SPF in Pineapple Upside Down. This is the worst smelling of them all, and I much prefer the Strawberry Jello. Just be mindful, if you apply a ton of it to get the moisturizing effect, you're going to taste the sunscreen. Word, word to the wise. Not a fan. I have a night lip serum that I am working through. I've got about this much left. This is my all-time favorite lip mask type product and I absolutely will be taking this in my belt bag because if I need a chapstick, that's what I prefer to reach for. However, I do like to have a traditional chapstick around and that is going to be the Big Mouth Jumbo Lip Balm, the sour one. This is from Treat Beauty. They're my favorite traditional lip balm style. They're massive. They smell delicious. And if you're interested in how I feel about moisturizing lip products, I have an entire video about that. So I will link that down below as well. That's going in the canvas bag. Then because my love for the Fit Glow Lip Serums runs so strong, I have four of the tinted versions, Beach Glow, Spark, Rise, and Pop. They no longer make pop here on the end. These are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They add just the right amount of color. You can build them up to be a little bit stronger same cushiony formula as the night lip serum where this differs is that it has added ceramides to help heal your lips at night i already packed my color cosmetic so i will not be taking these and same goes for popsicle from westman atelier the liquid lip balm while i love this i already packed and i have all the colors i need although this would be lovely with some of the oranges i plan to pack I would recommend all of these lip products, but I don't need them right now. So they're going back in my makeup collection. 
Then the last lip product is the K-Skin SPF Lip Balm in Berry, Bad Gal Berry. I love this so much. It's a beautiful shade. It's staying in my bag, but it's going in the canvas bag. All right, now there's only a few miscellaneous things, and that was everything that my bag has accumulated over four months. I have a couple of clips because I did chop my hair off and these have been instrumental and I need to pack these, but they're gonna go with my hair stuff. So I'm gonna set those aside to pack later. Boogie wipes, I can't live without them in allergy season. They won't fit in my belt bag, so they're gonna go in my canvas bag. Then I have two cuticle products. I actually prefer this Cuccio brand over the Sally Hansen, you can kind of see it's misshapen. I've been using it. This one is far more oily. This one's a little bit easier to control, but they are both stick formulas. I pick my cuticles. I have a video all about it, and I like to just have moisturizing products like this where I can sit and keep my hands busy instead of picking and also nourish my cuticles while I'm at it. And it takes up such little space. I love it. It's going in the canvas bag because the belt bag is reserved for the necessities. And the Sally Hansen is gonna go back into my original bag. Then I have noon electrolyte tablets. Always have these on hand. These will go in the canvas bag. And then the last thing I have is the Bondi Boost Flyaway Wand. I love this. And now that I'm experimenting more with half updos with my short hair, this is a must and I love to have it because in natural lighting in the car is where you see most of your flyaways and eyebrow hairs. So. That is everything that I have accumulated in my bag the last four months. And as you can see, nothing stayed in its proper bag. Like I didn't have these in bags, basically, to organize them further within my purse. So we are going to do that now. And I grabbed a couple of bags that I have. So one was a gift from Glow Recipe. And then these mesh gray bags are from the Amazon Dollar Spot. And then I have a nice little canvas cloth if I need it, but I'm hoping I don't because I need to organize this to go into my canvas bag, which we can just get into right now. I am taking a gift with purchase canvas tote from Beauty Pie. It expands, it is quite large. Let me see if I can get a good shot. Quite large and it's gonna fit everything that I need that is not going to live in my suitcase so that I can grab it very easily in the car. That is what we're gonna talk about. So I will show you right now what is gonna go in here that we didn't just talk about. So the first thing is this organizer. I keep my Kindle and all of my cords in here. I also keep a pair of wired earplugs, not earplugs, earphones in here. I do want this to have it the ready. Also, I don't wanna pack my electronics in my suitcase. I could, but I just like to know that I can get them. So this is a organizer off of Amazon. I'll link below, but that's going in the canvas bag. And then the other thing is my iPad case. While my husband is driving, we're gonna be in the car for 13 hours. I'll probably do some editing. I just have this iPad case. My iPad is in use currently, so that is where this is empty, but this is the cutest little case. It looks like a book and I love that about it. I got it at Pottery Barn on sale. I will link to this if it is still available. And then oh, my iPad, my not my iPad, my eye pencil. I always take that as well. So that is actually going to go in my little organizer here because I am now designing for a company, which we'll talk about in a get ready with me and I need to be able to do my little sketches in Adobe Illustrator. So I'll pack that and I will put my case in here just to make sure that I have space for it. But so far we have so much more room, which is exactly what I wanted to see, you know? Okay, next I have my prescription sunglasses. I'm gonna throw those in the bag because I do like to have these on hand during allergy season. You never know when I'm going to have to take my contacts out. These are from iBuyDirect. They probably don't have the style anymore, but I love them. There's like this little cheetah print detail, super cute. They were very affordable compared to what you would get at the eye doctor and they've held up for years. This is 
my fourth or fifth year with them, and I love them. Also love the case. But I just put those in kind of loose into the canvas bag. Where we're going to start organizing things is right here. But before I do that, I am going to throw all of my wallets kind of willy-nilly in there because it's fine. All right. So if you watched my first what's in my bag video, you know that I keep this, which again, this pack is from the dollar spot at Target. I keep this kind of at the ready, especially when I'm flying. And it just has some body wipes, um, some stick on heating pads. We've got a reusable straw, an extra pair of underwear, a makeup eraser and wet ones. I do like to have this, but this is more so for an airplane situation. So since we're going to be in the car, I'm actually going to leave this one behind today. But I am going to take out the heating pad because unfortunately, I think I'm going to need it this trip. Yay me. So we're going to pack a different bag, but very similar. Again, Target dollar spot. And I've already got some tissues in here just Travel Kleenex tissues, again, allergies. Gotta stay prepared. You ain't gotta get ready if you stay ready, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got tissues, then I'm gonna add the heating patches from the other bag in here. Ta-da! Then I'm gonna add the noon hydration tablets. This is just kind of like something's going down and we need things, you know what I mean? This is the, we need some things. I'm gonna put my pen in there. I'm also going to put my boogie wipes in here. Going to put my snacks in here. And actually I'm gonna take the pen out. We're gonna find a different home for that. Then I'm also going to put my sunscreen in here. And last but certainly not least, my fresh peaches. So again, this is kind of the pack where something's going down and you need something. This pack has got you covered. I can easily see what's in it. And this is also going to be the pack that I'm going to switch out of my canvas bag in the car into my hiking bag because these are things that I would consider needing on a hike. So that's that. I'm also gonna throw in my Benadryl into this bag while I'm at it. I have more Benadryl packed for the trip, but I like to keep some on hand because you never know. But that is my something's about to happen bag. All right, then now is a good time to show you hanging out back here is my car makeup bag. So we're leaving super early in the morning. So I wanted to have my makeup and my skin prep for the day ready to go so I can do it in the car. So if you're interested, go check out that video of packing this. But because I have this, I'm actually going to throw my K Lip SPF in Bad Gal Berry down here. I'm gonna throw that in this bag. And then I'm going to throw the untinted SPF into my belt bag. All right, and then I'll shout this out. I have a feminine product cover. I will use this if it comes down to that, which I think that it probably is. So I'm actually going to put that in the pack of like stuff is happening and it's probably gonna move around from belt bag, hiking bag, all over the place. So I will pack this. Then same with my perfume. I do like to have one on hand. So I'm gonna throw that into my makeup bag. And this is where we are with my canvas bag. We're about halfway full. But there is, this is another reason I chose this, there is this flap right here for easy access. And in there, I'm going to put gum, my Treat Beauty Sour Chapstick. Actually, I'm going to put my feminine product pouch there because when it's filled, that's probably an easier place to put it. And then I'm also gonna put my hand cream there because I anticipate grabbing that quite a bit on the road. And now I'm going to connect my bag holder with my lion latch because I'm not wearing my rings and things now and I probably won't put them on while we leave at three in the morning but it'd be nice to have them so I'll put that there and lastly I almost forgot my cuticle stick I'm going to put in that small compartment and the same with my eye my eyeglasses, my sunglasses. 
I'm actually going to take the two ties from the straps of the cover and put them on my little carabiner so everything is easy to grab. And look at that. We only packed it half full. It's such a spacious bag. I love it so much. I don't know where else you can get this. This was a gift with purchase for Christmas, but as you can see, I've got my iPad case here, then my electronics organizer, my in case things happen bag, my travel makeup bag, my kind of essentials that are in this front pocket, and then a couple of things on the handle. So we're looking super good so far. It's really only filled up to here and it's not too heavy. So I think I chose the perfect bag for this. So the last thing to do then really is to pack my little belt bag. And that is what we're gonna do. Got ahead of myself. I'm gonna strap those to my bag as well because if I need to edit in the car, I doubt my husband wants to listen to my voice saying the same thing over and over again. He loves me, but maybe not that much. And I don't blame him. So the last thing to pack is my belt bag. This is what I'm gonna grab when we go to dinner on the road from here on out. So I have my card case, that's gonna go in there. I have my contact eye drops, that's gonna go in there. I have my emergency medication, that's gonna go in there. And then I have two lip balms, those will both go in there, one for sun protection, one for calming. My hand sanitizer and my gum. And she, is very happily filled, but not filled to where I can't fit anything else and there's no issue zipping it. So this is now going to go on the top of my canvas bag so I can just grab this when we need to run into a gas station or when we need to go to dinner. All right, this is super chaotic and all over the place, but with everything in my bag, it's, it's heavy, don't get me wrong, but it's not full. And it's going to be perfect. Look at that. Perfect for when we go in the car. So I'll give you a nice view of it. So here we go. All filled with my things. On the back strap, I have, again, my sunglasses, my line latch for jewelry, and my AirPods. Then in the small compartment, all the things that are small that I might grab more often than not in the car. And then everything, including my belt bag, is ready to go. I hope that you so enjoyed this. And let me know what your essentials for a road trip would be or how you would pack. Maybe it's different. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.